Today, we are looking at the best player traits for your striker. Strap in. Welcome to the Megaloot Gaming channel. We have plenty of videos coming out throughout the release of FM 2021. So make sure you are subscribed for all the best Wonder Kids, player spotlights, tactics, and videos just like this. You're also following my Twitter at Megaloot for any updates. And of course, if you enjoy watching the live streams, twitch.tv forward slash Megaloot Gaming, if you want to watch some live Luke. He's a nice guy, trust me. So the basis of this video is, first and foremost, I'm going to explain the the art of player traits and why you need the way you really need to look at player traits, especially towards a striker. And then I'm going to rank my top five player traits, but I'm kind of going to go a little bit differently because different strikers need different traits, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Some information first. And I must also credit the website that I am getting a lot of this information from. I kind of knew a little bit myself, but I wanted to dive into a little bit more research. And Guide2FM.com was the perfect place for that. I'll leave a link down in the description to exactly where I have plucked all this information from. So you can have a look for yourself as well. Because they go into really good detail. And it's a really good website for stuff just like this. I learned a lot. It also goes without saying, viewers, that this is obviously my personal preference, my opinion on these player traits, the ranking of these player traits. There's no actual official uh, ranked player traits, which is going to be better than the other. This is just an opinion, and I want to know what is your opinion, and that is what the comment section is for. Be nice, but of course, I want to know what is your top five ranked pl player traits for your striker. Now, to kind of explain a little bit more into the player traits and how it affects the striker, see it as an extra attribute that you cannot see. It's giving, you, giving your striker an option to train and be better at a certain thing, this certain player trait, which will improve, hopefully, his game and, and help him score goals or make assists. See it as that. The situation your striker finds it in might have a knock-on effect throughout uh, the game because of this potential move. One common misconception is that shooting with power benefits a player who has a lower shooting ability, a lower finishing attribute, and that the accuracy of the shot is lowered by the power, which makes it harder to stop. And a striker who has who is a little bit more skillful, maybe has better finishing, will benefit from placing his shots in difficult places to reach. However, I disagree, and I'm going to prove it to you. We are looking right now at Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players to ever grace the game. And we're not going to go uh, into too much stuff. But he has a finishing attribute of 19. He also has a technique attribute of 17. Two attributes which you consider to be really important when you think about a player who uses places shots as a player trait. Interesting. However, Cristiano Ronaldo has a player trait of shoots with power. Now, that might be because he also shoots from distance. However, it might be because he has slightly low composure. I don't know. I just think it is down to personal preference on what you really think would benefit your player. Yes, low composure would suggest that using shoots of power would be a lot more beneficial. And... Really, if you have high composure, you want to be making the most out of that. They want to have the ability to slow time down in their head and pick their spots out with a place shot. That would be better as a player trait too. And so I decided that in my rank of my top five player traits, I would do a contrast trait in the different style of a striker. A quick number nine striker will suit different traits to a powerful, strong target man like striker. Would early 2000s Michael Owen really have the same player traits as a 2020s Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Absolutely not. Let's be clear though, Zlatan can do anything he likes. And Zlatan doesn't learn player traits. Player traits learn Zlatan. Okay, without further ado then, taking in consideration that you need to complement your attributes with these player traits... Number five doesn't have any contrast because I just think it's a nice little addition. So at number five, I have plays one twos. And if you, if you can see the description here, good attacking movement is required. Anticipation, decisions, off the ball and teamwork. Mobility as well. Acceleration, agility and pace. And of course, control, first touch and technique. This is suitable for more attacking players expected to get into more advanced positions. Now, if you're talking about a striker, that 
is kind of everyone, regardless of whether they are a big target man or regardless of whether they are a number nine Michael Owen type player. You want them to get into advanced positions. That is the reason why you've put them up front. Now, plays one twos is not the be all and end all of being a striker. And it's not something that I would go out of my way to make sure they had immediately. But I think it's a nice little addition to someone. Just a little quick turn of pace turn around, especially if they've got some decent mental attributes like you can see here to create a goal scoring opportunity maybe on the edge of the area, especially with this new match engine where it seems through balls on this game are killer and really, really effective. Number four also kind of goes alongside that, gets into opposition's area. This player is more likely to enter the opposition penalty area when your team is attacking. What is the point in having a striker if he's not going to get into the box to try and score goals? Now the required abilities for this is good attack and movement. Again, the anticipation decisions off the ball and teamwork. Other attacking abilities needed to be effective in the penalty area are appropriate to the player's role. And that's when we go back to how your player suits. But I think seeing that makes it obvious that you can have different types of player and this player trait will be effective for both. Of course, it's all down to whether you see that as a requirement. Your striker should be getting into opposition area regardless, to be honest. But it is a player trait nonetheless, and I've got it at number four. Now, number three is the first number and the one of three where we have a contrasting option for the different type of player. And this one beats offside trap. So it kind of goes without saying that beats offside trap is going to be that tricky number nine, the fast pace. As you can see here, the player will be more likely to attempt to time his run to beat the opposition's offside trap in order to receive passes behind their defense. Very good attack in movement, anticipation decisions, and off the ball, those mentals keep coming up. And mobility, of course, acceleration, agility, and pace to break away from those defenders. This, like you mentioned here, is useful for more attacking strikers than number nines expected to play off the shoulder of the last op opposition defender. But, like I mentioned, there is a contrast for number three. And that, viewers, is comes deep to get ball. Comes deep to get ball is the player will be more likely to move closer to the ball when deeper teammates are in possession. Now, players that I didn't realize had this kind of trait was the likes of Sergio Aguero. So someone who I would have said would have been more likely to try and beat the offside trap. Comes deep to get ball. It kind of suits someone who has good passing. And Sergio Aguero has good pass passing and vision. Requirements for this good attack and movement. Again, anticipation decisions off the ball. You need to be looking for these mental attributes quite often, to be honest. And preferably good creativity, flair, vision, good passing ability, passing and technique. Very useful for supporting players expected to play deeper and attempt creative, risky passes, such as midfield creators or number 10s. I'd argue that also strikers, this could be very crucial for. Number two on this list, again, is very contrasting uh, options, but this is when your player manages to get through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And that can happen for a player like Zlatan or a player like early 2000s Michael Owen. There's just a lot of opportunities for that to happen in Football Manager, especially in this FM. I've seen some of the slowest strikers in the world still manage to get in behind my defence and have an easy one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It's just what they do after that. So the first option that we have here is likes to round the goalkeeper. And I quite like this one myself. The player will be more likely to try to dribble past the goalkeeper when in one-on-one -on -one situations so he can potentially put the ball into an unguarded net. My strikers, I prefer, in my personal opinion, have high, high dribbling and finishing. So this one is a favoured one of mine for sure. Required abilities, good dribbling, like we mentioned there. Dribbling technique, anticipation, composure decisions and flair. And of course, mobility. They need to get around that goalkeeper with good acceleration, agility and pace. Useful for, as you can see, as strikers, especially more attacking strikers, the number nines we have mentioned before, who are more likely to get chances to score close to goal and strikers with poorer finishing. If your striker has less than 15 finishing in one of the top leagues, but is good at dribbling, this is a perfect one for you. But on the contrary to that, likes to lob goalkeeper is also a really good option and still at number two. The player will be more likely to try and lift the ball over the goalkeeper and into the goal when he believes there is an opportunity to score with such a chipped shot. And as you can see here, the required abilities are high finishing, high technique, high composure, good creativity with anticipation and decisions. Very different attributes there from the latter. 
This is useful for strikers to encourage them to use an alternative scoring method when appropriate. However, you may give prefer to give preference to places shots, shoots of power or lights around goalkeeper to help a capable striker to score more goals as they will be more useful for general goal scoring chances. Now, I have actually played Football Manager 2021 so far. An adequate amount. I've done more behind the scenes than I actually have playing the game throughout the match engine. In fact, I've only actually played one season while I'm recording this. But the amount of lobbed shots that I have seen and lobbed goals, a lot. So I actually think that this player trait, they are not giving this justice. I think this player trait is more important. And that is why it goes alongside likes to round the goalkeeper at the number two spot. And finally, of course, if you've played Football Manager by now, you probably know the ones that are coming up in the number one spot, the ones that you should be prioritising, in my opinion, first and foremost, when giving your new Wonder Kid striker a player trait. Number one. Of course, we have places shots. The player will be more likely to attempt to shoot with more accuracy and less power. This can make his shots more likely to be on target and more difficult for the goalkeeper to reach if they are taken well. And the required abilities for this finishing technique and composure, like we mentioned earlier. Good creativity with anticipation and decisions. Making good decisions where to put them. Anticipating to see where the goalkeeper is going to go. Useful for strikers with more attacking strikers who are more likely to get into chances to score closer to the goal. Like we mentioned before, if they are quicker, they beat the offside trap. This complements that. They are closer to the goal. They have the ability to place these shots. But as you've probably already established, viewers, we have a contradicting player trait for that. And that is shoots with power. The player will be more likely to shoot with force, both from inside the opposition penalty area and when attempting a long shot. So it can also benefit if you have player traits such as attempting long shots. But that's for another video. This can make his long shots more difficult for the goalkeeper to reach and deal with if on target, but also more likely to be inaccurate. Placing shots, of course, will be high accuracy, this one lower. Required abilities is just finishing and technique. You want It's very pointless having a striker if they're not very good at finishing technique. So more than likely, if you have a player who has less mental attributes, then this could be the shoots with power. Instead of having less finishing, look at the composure, look at anticipation, look at decision making. If they don't have those three attributes, Shoots with power could be a really better option for your striker. Whether you consider him to be a player who can shoot with power or not, try and give him this player trait instead of place his shots. So there we have it. I hope this video helped and I hope this kind of gives you a bit more thinking time when you decide what player traits you're going to give your strikers in the future. The research that I have done through Guide2FM.com and using this video has actually gave me a bit, be bit of a better understanding on what player traits I'm going to be giving my strikers in the future as well. Some attributes that I never thought I would ever look at uh, is something that I'm going to be considering a lot more in the future and I'm really glad that I've managed uh, I've, I've decided to do this video so that it helps me. So, without further ado, viewers, we're going to leave that here. If you'd like to see more player trait videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Player traits that you want to see for maybe wingers is a very good option, or centre midfielders is also very good as well. Even right backs and left backs now, they play a huge role in Football Manager. Maybe that will be a good option as well, and I can dive more into this player traits and give you some more content based on this and hopefully help you in the future. But of course, if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed. Let me know down in the comments your ranked player traits. Let me know if you want to see more positions. Like the video if it helped you. That will be absolutely fantastic for the YouTube algorithm, of course. The comments and the likes or definitely helping the YouTube algorithm. That would mean a lot to me. Make sure you follow me on all the socials and of course on Twitch if you want some live action with live loot. Youth to Gold is happening very soon for those people who are watching this video as the beta is about to end. And viewers, I will see you on the next one for another video here on Omega Loot Gaming. Bye bye.